Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bomb B and you're very, very welcome. Right, okay, first of all, don't know what's going on. <laughs> so I'm going to record this show as live. It's supposed to be a live stream. I would normally have the chat going on in the side window. But um, yeah, I've no idea what's happening. The stream just keeps completely dropping. Uh, as soon as I get started, it's gone again. So um, I haven't got time for this. I'm already about an hour behind because of um, an unscheduled doctor's appointment. I got wheeled down. Uh, I'm fine, I think. But um, yeah, it's one of those uh, points in your life where you've just got to do what the doctors say and give blood and let them work out whether or not you're genuinely ill or whether or not it's just a virus or something. I feel fine, relatively speaking, so don't worry about me. But we're going to do um, a, 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 a as live style review of, of this map. Um, because it's as live, it's not going to be polished. It's not going to be edited. Uh, none of this stuff in the old style. So um, it'll be slightly quicker probably than a regular live um, review because I won't have to respond to the chat. So there is that going for it. Let me just make sure we have got the correct page set up. We have indeed. So I'm now going to share with you uh, the workshop page of Gumslov. Gumslov by Teddy Radko. The top performing map of the moment. Well, at the time that we set up the schedules anyway. And it's a Teddy Radko map, so it's going to be a good one. I don't know if it's going to be the most polished map we've ever seen, as you'll see from the description in the moment. But um, but yeah, 110 ratings, uh, four stars. It's It's got to be a good one. Uh, then we have um, it's real life location. We've got some um, some images here. I've had a little look on Google Earth. I could share it, but you can go and have a look yourself. Um, there's nothing specifically important to the review that I need to show you the actual Google Earth of, but um, it does look like this. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's have a little look at the. Uh, again, I have not re really read through this properly myself yet. Not in great detail. Gumslov probably pronounced Gomslov or something, is a map I made in less than a day as part of a city planning project for university. Well, sort of something like that. Anyway, I initially didn't plan to upload the map, but it came together pretty good. So I thought I may as well share it here. Uh, the map is based on the location of a real life village of Gumslov in the South Swedish county of Scania, um, between the larger towns of Helsingborg and Landskora. Uh, again, apologise to anybody from Sweden. I'm doing my best. The train is based on the one-to-one -one train height map over the area of um, and taken taken from the the best terrain height map um, website there is. Networks are are there recreating use an overlay, so it's going to be pretty accurate there as well. DLC's mass transit is required for the map. You will need mass transit for this one. No mods are required to play the map, but I would recommend using network anarchy. Yes, of course. Um, there's plenty of things we can recommend. We're using the default vanilla temperate map theme. I'll be using the Realistic by Reaper LUT today. Please keep in mind that other LUTs and mods may be affected visuals, etc, etc. Disclaimers uh, made this map very quickly and the lever of detail, oops, level of detail, fair enough, um, typed this pretty quickly too. You're going to be hearing a lot of motorbikes and sirens, basically everything here he goes. Wow. I live in such a quiet neighbourhood. Anyway. So anyway. Um, yeah. TMPE is recommended, obviously. Acknowledgements uh, to the girlfriend. To the girlfriend. Uh, pointed out that the allocation of different field colours looked a bit too regular. Uh, quickly make. So basically, always good to have your um, map eyeball checked by somebody else, which is good to see. Uh, we've got about seven zillion tags. Seven zip all of the tags. Oh, brilliant. Um, and yeah, what can I say? It's a, another Teddy Radko map. How many? Uh, we got 3,830 subscribers already. Oh man, I'm so jealous. <laughs> so, so jealous. Anyway, um, that would be the map. Let's see if we can't switch back to. There we are, here back into game. 
So, right, we've got all the background done. Uh, I, again, I will do this review um, as I would do if you were in the chat. Well, first of all, we'll open up here. Let's get rid of that. And we'll have a look at the info screens. Starting off with the terrain heights, it's pretty flat. We'd expect it to be pretty flat, this part of the world. So there we go. Uh, good and easy for building. Resources, field painting, but big and bold and strong. A little bit of underwater um, painting as well, which again will please for some. Lots of fertile land, which will please definitely for this part of the world. And oil, if you want to do oil, is in abundance as well. I think the rail has, it looks like the rail has been used with um, ore for um, yeah, detailing. Detailing. I'm good with that. Okay, uh, we've done that one. Let's have a look at the shipping routes. Uh, shipping routes are good. Um, this, the lesson be learnt to Anybody wants to know how to do a shipping route. Single in dead end routes with a little bit of a curve and a jink like this are absolutely perfect for what you need. I think they are a good set of sh shipping routes going on right there. Right, so that's uh, the shipping routes. Then we have a Sunset Harbour. Sunset Harbour. It's not the most inspiring of fishing maps. It's all about the anchovies, okay? It's all about the anchovies. Nothing wrong with that. And then water flow in the start square if you need to pump and draw. It's not the most dynamic of water flows. But we do have a large coast. If you look at the coast, it's going from corner to corner. So um, I don't remember my math. <laughs> but uh, right angle triangle. So the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle of approximately two by two was that about 2.6 I don't know I can't remember I can even remember don't try me I have I left school a long time ago and I don't remember too much of that my geometry um but anyway yes um so there's you can pump you draw from one end and pump to the other you should be okay I hope I hope so right um so in terms of routing, well, we know the start square is here. In terms of routing, it seems to be one main highway running across the map. I think we'll start from the top and come on down. At what points do we want to take a turn off? Hmm. Have we got a turn off? Have I got a turn off? Where? Where? If I want to get down there, I think we've got to turn off at the trumpet up here. Okay, right, when we get to the trumpet, we'll take the turn off. There's the plan. So, right, um, mass transit roads, all very nice. Hang on, what speed am I running this simulation at? I seem to be moving rather quickly. Don't think the uh, vehicles are moving that quickly, mind you. And that's about the right speed just feels like I'm moving a lot faster than normal okay well that's not a big problem I can I can deal with it but yeah I've got game speed on one and I've got my simulation speed on 30 percent this is fairly normal might you actually normally have it a little slow on I'm going to slow the simulation speed down just a little bit there we go does that feel a little bit there we go that's more like it 20 percent right so we'll do a little flyby so teddy radco teddy radco of the custom bridges they're more than about custom bridges i'm not expecting any custom bridges on the map that's been made in a day but um yeah look at it it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous terrain work uh rail over road Height of the rail is just on point, on point, on point again. A little dirt track over the highway there as well. So you're going to be turning off a little bit early with the um, with the trumpet intersection. So we'll do a little, um, once we've seen the start square, we'll do a little journey back onto the highway just to see how the highway looks and if there's any other sexy intersections a little bit further down the way. That's the thought. 
But yeah, if, in case you're thinking, well, wh why don't you go back to editing if you're going to be pre-recording? Editing is such a big job. I would be doing this anyway, right, if I was recording the show. I was doing a, um, a, a little search, coming to bridges like this, looking underneath the bridges like this. It's, uh, it's low, but I don't think it's too low. I think that's probably donut proof there. It's close. It's very, very close. But yeah, I'll be I'll be checking for blue mantle, things like that. I'll be looking for glitching, um, streetlight clipping, all of those things. Um, then planning a route and then recording. And I'll be recording on. So I wouldn't be doing a high speed flyover like this. I'd be I'd be um, in terms of the speed. I'd be recording the flyover. I would be edging along the highway at this kind of speed, so that I could then speed the um, the recording up in post production which will give you a better quality of flyover. Not going to be doing that today, recording ads live. Trumpet intersection looks very good. Let's just have a little look on the underside of there. Again, we've got a good height. We've got no blue mantle. All of the stuff that we're hoping for. Uh, we do have, obviously, it's not the most optimized intersection, but of course, we are based on a real life location that they have covered this in TMPE um, in, the, in the description. So it's not the biggest problem. It is a minor problem. OK, it's I'm not going to completely write it off as being a problem, but um, it has been covered. Teddy is aware that actually tr this isn't the most um, efficient of traffic flow maps there we go look at the height of all these things this has been very carefully worked Teddy Radko ain't no fool you know ain't no fool so yes uh, recording as live uh, if, if sorry editing a what map turns what can be sort of like half an hour uh, 40 minutes for a live or an as live style recording into a three-hour project which is a, when I was doing six a week, that's nearly 20 hours of my life a week. Um, yeah, isn't it, what, 20 hours? It's virtually a day, of, a whole day of my life, mostly just down for editing. Uh, I'm not sure where we are now, actually. Uh, start square is, I think, actually, the next junction. So we head up this way. A little um, highway over rail and road intersection, or bridge over here, not intersection. That's again, that looks very tight, but also from experience, I think that is definitely donut proof as well. As is that. It's tight, but it's good. All right. Uh, anyway, we're heading down to here. We got to about here. Then you take a little turn off onto the little narrow streets, and that will lead you. I'm sh I'm pretty sure we must now be in Start Square territory. Surely, let me have a little look. Um, oh, not quite, not quite. Then you make it down to this road. <laughs> So yeah, the traffic's going to take a little while. This is one thing to bear in mind. If you decide to play this map, it's going to take the traffic a little while to make its way down into the start square. Because these roads, these are the small roads, um, the zonable roads. And so traffic's going to make its way from the edge of the map down to here, make its way through the road network. So um, yeah, once you, you put down your buildings, just give the traffic time to get to you. They, it will get to you, but just give it time. Be patient, like you are with me. It's a little bit of game lag there. Yeah, so I'm sorry we're not, we're not live. It's um, it's I, I I like the live. I love the chat. I love your chats. <laughs> Definitely keeps me um, keeps me alive and perky. Um, in terms of the harbour. Right, okay, I think we can agree this is the a slightly clunky looking harbour. Given that Teddy has made this map in a day, I think that's forgivable, alright? 
it's not going to score a point. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to big this up. I'm not going to say this is an amazing harbour. And I've got to give. Yeah, it is going to be lacking a little bit in in points. But again, I don't think Teddy has really made this one with the hope of getting an all-star rating. Um, some of their other work is is the stuff that you just go, oh my goodness, how did you do that? And and can I have some more, please? Okay, okay, right. <laughs> Uh, highways. What has happened over here? We ask ourselves. Imagine it's a truck stop. It looks like it's meant to be a truck stop. And that looks like it's meant to be a tower. That's really well done, actually. I like that. I like that. That's been well done. Um, and this is a truck stop over here. So yeah, truck stop, rest area, services. That makes sense, I think. Services, probably. Um, and now we're, I'm going to carry on along the highway just because, as mentioned previously, we... Um, I, d I feel this would be a fairly quick flyover anyway. It uh, doesn't look like the most insanely detailed of maps. Again, nice little dirt track running through underneath that. We'll have a look at some of those in a minute. See where they go, what they do. Do they feel right? Parklow intersection. Very sweet. Again, nice tree work. Got some uh, small ponds on the left there. We'll have a look at some of those, I guess, at some point. Have a... Uh, Liking the way these bridges have been done as well, taking advantage of uh, of the terrain to get height and then coming in. They, they, they feel like, how many times have you seen bridges where the bridge goes up and across and down? And these just feel natural. Quality work. And I think that, I'm just, I've got, I kind of obliged to check for mantle. I'm not expecting any. This, however, this one here, um, I, I still don't have a third person uh, camera. I don't know what has happened to my my walking mods, but never mind. Um, and that feels really quite low. Now, I don't feel that that is donut proof, but also I'm not expecting the donut van to have to pass underneath that. That just needs to be tractor proof. And I suspect it is tractor proof. Yeah, but the, the old Wiener mobile, the donut mobile, if they were to go under there, um, I don't have a problem with that one. It, it looks low, but it does also look like it's high enough for purpose. Fit for purpose. That's what we're asking. Lots more motorbikes whizzing by. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't know what's happened to the music. My music has um, just disappeared on my, on my buttons. Right, anyway... Um, map as a whole feel like pay, pay, you know what teddy radko your girlfriend is 100 percent right this looks right she's done a very very good job of correcting you and she should start making her own maps <laughs> okay <laughs> oh dear uh how to ruin a relationship get your partner into map making <laughs> oh crazy anyway that's beautiful little little dotted lakes here and there again um, based on the real life location so these are almost certainly and look this, this is a simple vanilla map and you can have lakes in in the map that just look and feel right they don't have to be in a massive great big hole where you have the water fill like eight meters down quality i do love quality work from quality creators and that's what we're getting today here uh, island, um, this is called Ven Island. I think this is Ven. Um, I'm guessing that's where there'd be a little harbour or something. <gasps> Break your on there. Sorry about that. It's been a hell of a hell of a day. Sorry, long day. But yeah, I'm fine. I, I know you. I know you. One or two of you probably worried about my health. Uh, I'm. I'm probably okay. 
I do have some afflictions at the moment and I'm just hoping that they are just stress related I guess but it could be worse it could be worse oh look there's a an essential light else down here ah isn't she lovely um location's fine a bit worried about the trees dotted around it but you know location's fine uh, heading over this way for a little look at this outcrop here with the trees. Got some tree. This tree is mighty close to the water's edge, but only close. Close, no actual paddling. Doesn't require its trunks. Wait, is that a. Yeah, we've got some defences plopped down here as well. Again, pointing in the right direction. Good to have that. Pointing correctly. Looks good to me. And have one there. And rivers. Right, okay. I think we, we, we might be minusing a point here, possibly. Let me have a little look at the rivers. We have a little bit of a paddling going on here. I don't. I know trees can be in the water, but um, I think there is definitely just a few too many actually in the water, and it doesn't seem to be uh, any motion in the ocean here. So um, yeah, that's slightly clogged up river there also the outflow you can see the outflow hasn't been polished off as well as if Teddy had spent a week on the map or three months on the map I'm not, I'm not grumbling I'm not grumbling I promise you I'm, I'm accepting, accepting the map for what it is which is an outstanding map that's been made in a day um, so yeah, then we have the, the little harbour there we've already seen. Let's have a little look inland. Is there anything inland? We do have... Let's have a little look here. This crosses over. Let's follow the rail. Let's follow the rail. We'll do it at a bit of a pace. There might be a little bit of an overhang in the trees and the catenaries going on there. Just a little bit. Somebody's going to get electrocuted. We'll zoom along here. Um, again, I am playing with Anarchy. This tree would not be there uh, without Anarchy. But um, it is there. <laughs> it's hiding underneath the rail line. So, yes, just a, a minor technical on that one. A minor technical score on that one. A few. We've got a little, just, we have got some a few trees that, again... If Teddy spent more than a day, they would not be there. Um, judging by their previous work, we can be absolutely certain of that. I'm not just saying that. I'm not just making making this up. But there we go. Uh, the rail is it's a good rail. We have um, the roads are totally believable. And again, because they're based on real life location, that would be why. Um, is there anything else I need to check? I'm just going to have a look at some of the... Um, the tree work. The tree work is very Teddy Radko-esque. It's subtle. These are meant to be hedgerows, but they're not. They're more meant to actually break up the fields, but they're inspired by the hedgerows, aren't they? Okay. Um, motorbike outside my window again. It's revving away. Um, yeah. What's going on? What is this? This this scar, which has been painted in with the, um, this is the ore. Remember I said about the uh, ore, I thought it was rail, which was highlighted and detailed using the ore. That's all the way down here. I think it might be a former river valley, because if you have a look on the either side, the terrain does elevate up a little bit. It might be an old river. It's definitely lush. There's a lot of trees down here. So I'm, yeah, I'm feeling it might have been 
an old river course, possibly. And there's a lot, a lot of trees down here. Thank you, motorbike. You can go now. Thank you. But yeah, that's um, very... It's meant to be lush ground, maybe. I don't think it's meant to be used for ore. I wouldn't be doing any ore mining along here, personally. And then, yeah, then you hit the... There you go. So may, maybe even, maybe there is even a river going up there in real life now. I'm not going to check. I have got Google Earth open, but I'm not going to check. I'm going to say that we have spotted a few trees under the road down here as well. Again, uh, a Teddy Radco spending hours and hours and hours on the map. You're playing this vanilla. You are not going to see these. It is a vanilla map. You will not see those. That's okay. It's just technical scores. That's what we're talking right um let me park the camera and i'm going to give you uh my opinions my ratings for gumslov is hang on is that how we how we pronounce this how did i say i was going to pronounce this i can't remember let me let me do a yeah gumslov gumslov maybe by teddy radko okay um aesthetically for a vanilla map I mean, we're not setting the world alight, but it does look like the location, and it, I have had a look in um, in Google Earth, and it does look a very good recreation of the area. I can't get super excited about it, but I think it works really well. This is about the bare minimum I think you can get away with for a four star, only just because it does look like the location so well and the field painting's been done and again I think um, the reason why we have the fourth star is because his girlfriend has corrected him on the field painting so yeah we'll, we'll give the we'll give the fourth star but it is a right bottom end of four stars for that detailing well, the tree painting is good the fields are a good shape we have got an accuracy in hand Again, it would feel like a rock bottom of the four stars because, uh, yeah, I mean, poss possibly a top end of three stars. We are we are looking with the highways. The highways are of an excellent standard. Um, and the sort of style of map that it is, it it could justify four stars. It could. However, we do have a lot of oversights like the drowned trees. The trees under the highways, the uh, the overhanging trees on the rail, and so all told, even if it were going to be a four star, and it would, I think it would have been borderline. I may, I may even have negotiated myself out of it without the um, the, the niggly bits. I'm going to say that I'm going to have to give this one just a smidgen over middle three, so more or less middle three. Gameplay potential for what it's meant to do. I like it. I do have a bit of a grumble with the with the framing, possibly. Possibly, let me let me show you what I mean by that. Um, pull the camera back again. So, if we are doing a nine tile build, right? You've got all the coast, so this is all good. If you want to access the island, and I don't know if Teddy can do anything. Teddy can't do anything. Teddy's not going to move an island, are they, right? Okay. But let's do some buying. If we want to get to the island, we can buy that one. Two. So you've got two tiles which are basically empty. It's going to take you three tiles. I mean, we could have maybe have got, there we go, that one there. So we could get a corner there. And I think, come out of that. Yeah, that brings us up to the edge of the 25 tiles. So I would almost rather that this island was pushed closer to the edge of the map out of the 25 tiles because 
this is just encouraging you to want to buy out this way and then as a as a vanilla player you get over here and all you've got is this little quadrant of the island and as much as i like an island i'd want the whole island so either i would want the whole island moved up and into here but that is going to really restrict the amount of mainland which is very important or budge the islands down to about here which would bring the coastline over here a little bit closer and you're going to get a little bit more of the mainland to build on so i think in terms of framing i kind of like this but for a vanilla play it just doesn't quite feel in the right location so i'd have, i would have it personally i would have it more in the corner and bring the entire map over a bit or um i mean if i was going to rebuild the map completely i would probably move the entire island <laughs> but then it's a one-to-one -one. so you don't you're not going to be moving the island but moving the entire island so it fits here i would think would be would be fair on a slightly fantastical build yeah if you if you it, a real life inspired map rather than a real life map but um yeah uh, traffic's going to take a little while to get down to you. Uh, traffic manager is recommended. Uh, what do I think? Can I give it... I, I don't know if I'm inspired to the fourth star. I'm going to go for a very high three stars. It's a really good um, resource map. It's a very good resource map. I, I, I just not... I am... Um, I think with gameplay, a lot of it is, am I inspired to want to play it? Like, we don't have any real water flow. Um, I think I'm just going to go for a very high. It's not going. It's a map that's not going to let you down. You're going to have a good time on it, especially if you want to do a Swedish-style build. But I think for your typical player, it's, it's just okay. And considering it was built in under a day, I would say that this is actually um, a a good map so um well i'm teddy and thanks for sharing and never ever ever hold back and this is to you not just to teddy never ever hold back in terms of uploading a map to the workshop have fun go out create build have fun share and if one person loves it then it was worth doing that's the thing one person loves it it was worth doing <laughs> what's going on with this I didn't even touch I didn't even touch the game anyway that's it from me I think um thanks for watching for commenting for liking and for subscribing I will upload um a second one for the bonbon bon buddies um you'll be able to check that one out I'll link that um over on um uh, patreon.com forward slash bomb bomb b uh, it'd be free to view but you'll only find the link over there um so just uh, head on over there in a little while i'm not sure when that's going to be because i've obviously got to render the video and upload it too so anyway um yes sorry i don't know what is going on with my streaming software but um there we go it sometimes just doesn't work and that's what's happened today Thanks for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing, and for joining me for What's Map. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Come, you know, girl.